As he arrived at the House of Culture in Belize City to officially demit office of the Governor General of Belize, Sir Colville Young was welcomed with the vice regal salute, a musical greeting and mark of respect for the man who has served as the representative to Belize's head of state, Queen Elizabeth II, for 28 years. He was installed as Belize's second Governor General on November 17, 1993, and has been the longest serving Governor General in the Commonwealth. Sir Colville Young served as GG under the administrations of former Prime Ministers Manuel Esquivel, Said Moussa, Dean Barrow, and six months under Prime Minister John Bersenio until he gave notice of retirement. The official farewell for his departure from the office of the Governor General was full of pomp and circumstance, led by the Belize Defense Force Band and the Guard of Honor made up of BDF soldiers, Coast Guards, and police officers, as well as representatives from the Scouts and Girl Guides of Belize. Prime Minister John Bersenio, Leader of the Opposition Patrick Faber, Acting Chief Justice Michelle Arana, other government officials and members of the Diplomatic Corps were in attendance today as they honored the esteemed senior diplomat. And today, as he retired, he gave thanks as he reflected on his years of service. In saying thanks, above all, I remember the young people of Belize. If I have initiated programs for their benefit, they have in turn enthusiastically joined in those programs. Whether as scouts, guides, musicians taking part, as Dr. Villanueva said in the annual Banfest, the young people of Belize have been my staff of comfort to help me and encourage me every step of the way. Sometimes they have surprised me. But his life of service to Belize began before he became the beloved and respect Governor General. During his years as an educator, Sir Colville Young was the founding president of the then University College of Belize. I don't think he hesitated because he has a tremendous love for the country. Um, I'd have to say he's from the kind of make that the George Prices and Philip Goldstones and so came from, right? I don't know what it was around that time, but they, you know, country before everything else, right? And he also loved music, a passion that forged into a mission to propel the creative arts in Belize, spanning decades of work that have helped to define and promote Creole culture. Dr. Young has contributed to the literary arts from multiple perspectives. Among these, chiefly, has to be his contribution as an author, as a writer of plays, of short stories, of poetry, of music, composing some of the tunes that we hear every year. I think the country lost a great musical composer and a writer when he became Governor General. I think the, 20, the 28 years that he spent as Governor General, he did not produce any music or write any more books. While he didn't continue to write and compose music, his involvement in the arts continued during his tenure as Governor General. It just took on another form. He will be remembered for his music in schools program, pushing other music like the Steel Pan and the Band Fest. Unlike the way his interests touch lives, like his work with the Scouts, Sir Colville Young will be remembered as a man who connected with the people. He's just that a man, humble, compassionate individual who understands the importance of knowing people and where needs be, providing just those words of assurances for others. It is not, and I would say, during my experience, he never came off of somebody who was elitist, pompous, to say. He never allowed the, the role to, quote unquote, fill his head. And now that Governor General Sir Colville Young retires, Cabinet Secretary Stuart Leslie will act as Governor General until Froyla Salam is installed as the next Governor General of Belize. She received the outgoing Gigi's blessings as he departed office today. Uneasy lies the head that wears a crown. 
that crown will now be passed to my su successor, a great choice by Prime Minister Johnny Brissenia, a lady of learning, of charm, and of patriotism. I wish her well, as I'm sure all of you do. And I'm sure all Belize will welcome her and support her as you welcomed me and supported me during my tenure of office as Governor General of Belize. Reporting for News 5, I'm Andrea Polanco.